someone had asked me in the comments, and often I get asked, how does the ice cream machine work? How does it make ice cream? Inside these two cylinders is where the ice cream is made. It gets very, very cold in there and gets beat or whipped. It gets pumped up from below by pumps mounted on the back wall of my cabinet, which is refrigerated, and it gets shot up these two tubes you see here. My left side shoots up my vanilla, and the right side shoots up my chocolate. Also, there's a part of that is a diaphragm, which gets mounted on the back wall, and is very sensitive, and tells the machine how much pressure is inside of it, and when to pump and when not to. That gets mounted on the back wall there. As we go back to the top, we're going to install the beater, a very heavy piece of steel with two metal blades to beat the ice cream, and also two nylon pieces to scrape the ice cream off the sides of the cylinder. Once the nylon blades are on the beater, the whole assembly can be inserted into the cylinder and the only thing that's left is a piece to center that arm that beats everything and once that's in place you could actually turn the machine on and see how it beats but beating alone doesn't make ice cream needs to be refrigerated or made cold. Around each cylinder is a box that's insulated and also gets extremely cold. This, the two cylinders are then covered by the head. This black piece with, and the ice cream is squeezed out of those two holes and down the spout and into your cone. That's what it looks like fully assembled and then you could pump the ice cream from the bottom from the cabinet up to the top. The pump works like a little one cylinder motor with a piston. It draws the ice cream up and pumps it down and into the top where it's cold and getting beaten and that's the end. I hope you enjoyed it. Here, have a cone on me.